everyone, this is HJJ Halloween, and today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up Crouchy the Clown from Spirit Halloween. Do you see what I'm wearing right now? Yeah, this is official HJJ Halloween merch that is available to you guys. You can buy this right now. Shirts are $14.99, hoodies are $24.99, and there is this and plenty of other designs on the HJJ Halloween merch shop, which there will be a link to down in the description. There should have been a card that popped up, as well as a bar underneath of the video that will display previews of some of the products. Guys, please, please check it out. I would highly appreciate it. It's a great way to show your support for me and the channel. All right, so Crouchy. You guys know that I absolutely love this guy because when I saw him at the flagship, which by the way is the last time that I saw him, so it's been quite a few months ago, um, he is the biggest thing in the room. He absolutely overpowers everything else in the room, and I know that he is going to achieve that for my haunt because this year I'm going to have him up on the porch, so it is going to be absolutely amazing being this absolutely gigantic clown, and that is the thing that really sells him for me. Um, obviously, I'll get into more stuff about that in my review, but he is so massive that it makes it absolutely terrifying, so I can't wait to set it up again today. Um, I do have to be honest with you guys, though, and admit that I have already opened this box, as you can kind of see. Um, I know it's the very last unboxing, and I messed up on the very, very last one, but, I mean, I've been, work I've been trying really hard all these times to make them authentic and having it be, like, the actual as soon as you open it from the box, so I guess I should get one pass. Um, but yeah, so I did open up this box because believe it or not, I needed to use one of the arms for a school project, so I won't even explain that, but I kind of had to just take some stuff out. I obviously didn't like take out the whole thing. I haven't set it up yet or anything, so I still, you know, I'm going to enjoy seeing him again set up, but let's just get into unboxing him so the video doesn't get too long, as they always do. These are the arms, which yeah, I have already seen and already pulled out of the box, uh, but I mean, just look at the hands. I mean, that was the thing that like amazed me in the flagship is how big these are. It's insane. Um, and then this is the other hand right here. And if this is anything like the collector setup, it should be actually pretty simple. I mean, even though it's one of the largest things ever, uh, it's a lot easier than these zip tie screw situations that we've had for all of the other uh, companies. I'm gonna raise up the, or actually no, I'm just gonna lower the camera and kind of pull everything else out. Because um, I remember last time with the collector, I kind of regretted trying to pull it up out of the top of the box. I have actually pulled the head out and it is the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. Holy crap. All right, let's get some of this stuff here. This is like all jumbled together because this is the base right here and it's got like arms and stuff connected to it. It's really, really kind of just haphazardly thrown in there. Uh, how is this, why is this connected to it? This is also, okay, everything is like zip tied together. So this is a big jumble of stuff I got a zip tie, like cut all these zip ties off for. Um, but you see, this is the base right here. And then we've also got, oh, almost fell on him. The central mechanism right here. So same deal as collector, but I definitely need to get scissors. Oh shoot. Cut all of this stuff off. Um, I'll probably just do it off camera and jump into setting him up because you guys kind of know the drill. But this is the monstrous thing that we all know and love. This is really what sells Crouchy. Um, I mean, <laughs> have you ever seen a more freaky looking clown? It looks a lot like the Pennywise clown when he opens up his jaws, and I actually kind of like that because it'll make it a little bit uh, kind of tie in to my Pennywise hallway that I'm gonna have inside, um, and people will probably just think this is Pennywise, honestly, from the distance, but that is the freakiest thing I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, that is just super cool. So, love that. Um, oh, and here we've got his shoes. He's actually got a little bit different of a mold than the normal uh, other clowns. This is stuck in there, but I'll get that later. But so he's actually got kind of some bigger shoe designs going on than like hugs and towering clown. And I like the extra added detail of the black outline here and the white polka dots. Just gives it a little bit more character than some of the other shoe types. Um, and then, okay, this is the exact same thing as the collector right here, except it's a slightly different shape or maybe it's the same exact thing this is his um back plate his hunchback right here and it has like something kind of ingrained in it which is weird i don't know what that is but that is his um hunchback plastic mold i'm just gonna take the box like this okay so there's a bunch of stuff that came out i also didn't 
say this is his clothing piece. So it should be even easier to deal with than the collector's because the collector's was really awkward with all that creepy cloth. This is his um, neck fabric right here, which I thought would somehow un-Velcro, but it doesn't. Um, and then this is the pants. So some very generic red and black design, but I actually kind of do like it. It makes the face and the hands really pop uh, because that's the only white part of him. This is the adapter. The box is all kind of beat up, but here it is right here. Um, and then the instructions are right here. So, all right. Yeah, all right, like that. So that is all of the stuff out of the box. Um, I will just go ahead and jump into doing the first step of setting them up. Guys, if you want to get a behind the scenes look on how the haunted house is coming along, then definitely go ahead and follow me on my Instagram at hgj underscore Halloween. I post uh, more than daily stuff on there. So if you want to get more content from me, that is the place to go. There'll be a link down in the description. So definitely go ahead and check that out. All right. So we have here the base and you actually want it to be facing just like this. So you have the two uh, like poles in the back, this cross thing uh, wire goes right here. And then our two shoes, oh, I actually still needed to pull them apart. All right, so here's his big old shoes. I think it looks like they're pretty much symmetrical, but I think they look right this way. So this one here and this one here. The foam is supposed to be pulled up till it's actually on that bend there, just like that. So there you go. And then um, I think they are the exact same shape, if I'm not mistaken. So. I don't think that I need to be worried about, well, this one's got some foam in it, but I don't think I need to be worried about which one goes where. Uh, so this, there we go, that one goes there, and then they're kind of bending up at me. And then this one goes here. All right. That looks good. Um, I don't know if there is a front or a back. I don't believe there is. It looks to be exactly the same. And I can already tell this guy is going to be tough to keep in frame. holes out in the open here. Now we can hook on the center torso body part here. It's kind of bent a little bit weird. Uh, let's see. Okay. I guess he starts already kind of bent this way and then he turns his body around would be my guess. forceful but there you go the locking pins are set we have to get the hip loop over right here goes in like that and then he also has a interesting thing he has a chest hoop so that needs to go in these forks right here okay now here is the back plate I need to hook onto this fork up top right here. Right in like that. You can make sure it all comes through this opening. that these had like black spots on them. That looks kind of goofy. I don't recall that. Weird. This arm up through the clothes. And so easier than the zip ties at least. This arm somehow 
It's supposed to go like this. Uh, why did that just come completely backwards? This needs to go right like that. There. That thing was bent all the way backwards. That had me thinking I got the wrong part for a second, guys. Holy crap. What the heck? There. Okay. Well, that gave me a lot of trouble. Pull this back all the way down. There you go. All right. Well, the arms are definitely looking pretty cool. I do love those. But he is not near as big as I remember him being, guys. Now is the time to put this terrifying head on here. Okay, he's facing this way quite a bit. Here is the head. Whoa. Okay, so his head is kind of really facing this way, but that looks insane. Yeah, the head definitely makes it. Okay. This up. I don't think... Are you guys seeing this thing? What in the world? This is the coolest looking thing. He's a lot more crouched over. I mean, oh my God, it looks like he's gonna fall. Okay, oops. The head is supposed to have the neck collar already on, which definitely makes sense. Because this, this is not gonna come all the way over his head, I don't think. on there, this wire coming right here. Oh yeah, I gotta attach these wires. Put that in there. So I gotta get this wire right from the control box. Okay, so it looks like the wire is actually, you guys can't really see this. The wire is actually run all the way up. So I'm just gonna feel. Make sure that volume is all the way up. And I am actually gonna just go grab a 10 pound weight to hold him down, because he's really trying to fall over on me here. Okay, here he is all set up. I got that weight on the back there to make sure he ain't gonna fall over. Um, and then here is the plug. Got him on an extension cord. Let's do it. Whoa, he's moving. Okay. Got a IR in his mouth. You gonna go? Oh, okay. Oh, that movement is pretty cool. He's really angled that way, you know what I mean? He's kind of like looking this way first, and then he turns to face you. So maybe I want him to be more, more turned this way, but it looks pretty cool. Let's do it again. cool all right guys so that concludes my unboxing and setup of Karachi the clown I hope that you all enjoyed it's been a pretty highly anticipated one and I finally got around to doing it so I hope the wait has been worth it definitely stay tuned on the channel because as you guys know the haunted house is really coming along so there will be a lot to see on that and the finished product is coming very very soon so Hope you guys are all having a great Halloween season. Don't forget, there will be a link to my Instagram down in the description below if you want to get behind the scenes stuff, especially on the haunted house. And uh, there also will be a link to the HJJ Halloween merch shop if you want to get the shirt you saw me wearing today. 
Uh, and lastly, there will be a link to Spirit Halloween's website. If you want to do any last minute shopping, October shopping for the Halloween season, that is the place to be. There will be Crouchy the Clown on there if you want to get him, um, all the other props as well, and anything you need for the Halloween season. And if you buy on that link in particular, you will be helping out me and the channel at no extra cost to you. And in fact, I will be providing you guys with a 20% off coupon code exclusively from the channel to you guys. So definitely take advantage of that and make those prices a little bit less scary. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.